What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Now, this one goes out to all of the black men, the African American men, some of the brothers from Africa and the Caribbean. If you know what it feels like to have nothing and to come up and make something of yourself, right? I, I'm, I'm, this is going to hit home to a lot of you brothers, especially when a lot of people didn't feel that you would amount to anything, right? But whatever intestinal fortitude you had, you worked really hard, and then you decided that you were going to make something of yourself. You were not going to let your situations hold you back. You know, that you had your own self accountability and ownership and agency over your own situations. And then when you make it, people have their hands out. People are begging for you for stuff. And it bleeds a black man dry. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, African Americans don't have to deal with it so much, but I'm in Africa right now, and this is the toughest place to make it because people always have their hands out. And 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 I will say that for the brothers that are from Africa, from the Caribbean, Haiti, and stuff like that, my heart goes out to you because I understand what stress you're up against. But this is what's happening to our brother Master P. Okay, now we know that Master P is a self-made brother. Okay, he came from nothing, from New Orleans. He went out and he made a lot of money for himself off his own work. All right? His own work. Nobody gave the guy anything. He moved to the Bay Area. He did it on his own work and he put everybody in his family on, including C. Murder, who don't have that much talent. All right? Now, here's what's happened or what's happening. Master P built a no limit empire made of the three or four hundred million dollars. His brother, who is a hothead, allegedly commits this murder. Now, I don't know if that's the truth or not, but he does. And then Master P calls out Monica and Kim Kardashian for being fake and all of this stuff. But then, you know, C Murder comes out and congratulates. You know, Monica and Kim Kardashian for helping them out. And Master P felt some kind of way about that. He's like, listen, bro, I've been there for you all the time. Why are you not showing me that kind of respect? But then it comes out that Master P supposedly is cheap. He don't love his mama. He don't care about his family. And, and, and this comes from a family member, right, who, who responded to this. And I want to read what, what she had to say, okay? Um, she says this. Date music. B, Master P, Percy Miller. And that's straight from the Miller family. Where the F have you been while we selling socks to support Corey because you want nothing to do with him? My mama been back and forth for years making the call, sending money and visits. Then she talked about how he didn't help her dad get an eye, you know, his own father get an eye surgery. He wouldn't send his mama no money. All right. And basically, you know, that Master P ain't real. You know, he's out here complaining about something, but he don't even have his own help his own family. But Master P responded to this and he said this, okay? He said this. Master P said, Date music! They always say what you get the man that has everything. What about love, a card, or even just thank you? If any family members have received that to me, I'll cut the ATM back on. It's been over 30 years. I'm tired of supporting people's addictions and bad habits. Who would y'all be mad at if I was dead? Because it seems like none of y'all want to work. Uh-oh, stop the show. Lazy ass friends and family members hold black men back. Dang music. I'm no longer enabling the lazy, ungrateful people. Please go get a job and career. And for the ones that do have degrees and careers, maybe y'all could take over and buy houses and cars for y'all generation. If they are ungrateful, then you understand how I feel. Stop the show. I believe.
believe him. I believe Master P is telling the truth. Lazy ass friends and family members hold black men back. I know it. I know he's telling the truth. Because they believe that since you made it, they ain't got to do nothing. Bullshit. I got to work every day just like you got to work. And I tell the brothers over here in Africa, you better stop giving your families money. You brothers in the Caribbean, stop the show again. You brothers out there coming from Africa and coming from the Caribbean and you African-American brothers, y'all better stop giving them money because they're your family members. You better make them do something for it. Otherwise, they will never appreciate it. I will give money and help people if they are doing something. If you're not doing nothing, get away from me. And that's what's going on with his family. He's been helping them for 30 years and the family ain't, ain't amounted to nothing. He's right. Dang music. The only difference is I decided to do the right thing and chase my dreams and goals. When I made it, I was too generous to my family and friends and that was the problem. Stop the show. I'm trying to tell y'all. Make them do something. They won't appreciate it. Dang music. I love y'all, but enough is enough. And whoever said they had to sell socks, well, welcome to the real world. I had to sell tapes at the truck of my car. So in my 50 cent voice, I ain't doing it no more, man. P.S. This how you know it's hate. I ain't the only millionaire in this family, just for the record. When you do the right thing, God will keep blessing you. Envy and jealousy gets you nowhere. Hashtag happy Sunday. I don't want to hear it. Keep this off the internet. I'm just saying a whole lot. What a lot. Of, I'm just saying what a lot of successful people are even just people with jobs that are working want to say to their family. Stop the show. Get a man applause. The truth hurt is uncomfortable, but it's the only way we can get back to the love. For the bloggers and gossipers, now you know the truth. I'm going back to work to provide for my kids. Listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. He's telling the truth. And he put this thing, Master P ATM, out of order. Family and friends, go get a job. That's right. Because broke-ass family members and friends have been holding black men back for years. Listen, I'm telling them all the time. If you didn't make it, that ain't my fault. You got to get up and work. I'm in Africa working every damn day. I was in, I'm in medical school. Have to get up and work. Working 100, 200 days straight. Going to class, not getting out to five, coming home, working all the way to three in the morning and studying in between then. That's what men understand we got to do. And I'm telling you brothers, because I love you brothers. You brothers, stop spending your money on people who don't appreciate you. You work too goddamn hard for your damn money. Because if you know it, if you give it to them, I'm talking about women too. Giving money to them for no reason. That's it. I'm telling you, if they don't want to work, and then they got the nerve to be blaming you because they messed up. That man man been giving money to his family. And I know he ain't telling the, he telling the truth because look what he did for Snoop Dogg. He gave Snoop Dogg all that money. Snoop Dogg talked about how giving Master P was. And it's a lot of hatred. Family members think because you did something that you're supposed to give them something. But if they have the money, they would be stingy as hell with the money. And it's not right. And I tell, I wish all you black men out there, I don't care where you're from, especially the brothers in the African-American community and you brothers outside of other communities, you brothers better learn today. Y'all brothers better start learning, family, that the people can hold you back are the ones that they love you. You better provide for yourself because I tell you what, as much as money you give them, let you be on some hard times. They can't give you nothing. I told my own father that. My own father is remarried now. And got a new family. And he going through the same thing. I said, Daddy, you better let these stop letting people uh, bleed you dry. What's wrong with you? You better take care of yourself. You're too old to be out there working all the time and giving your money to these people. These people, you've been giving them money for 25 years. They ain't did nothing. Nothing. And I'm tired of seeing black men being held back because they love their family. You better move to Africa and, and, and move away from them. That's what you need to do. Some of you brothers out there, y'all need to move away from your hometown. You better move to somewhere different and cut your phone off. 
And let them be. You know what? If they get mad, so what? Let them be mad. Sometime, I'm going to tell you brothers right now. Sometime you got to cut people off so you can make it for them. Because if you don't make it, they can't make it. You need to be in a position to tell your family, you need to do this, you need to do that. Everybody want to spend the black man's money. Guys, I'm out of here. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe at the bell. Brothers, I really appreciate you, appreciate you for um, coming on the channel. Thank you so much. And brothers, subscribe at the bell. Um, and as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. Don't forget, check out the Patreon. Check out the Black Men Perfect t-shirts. All that commentary is pinned to the top. Thank you so much.